let's talk about wombats. What does a wombat look like? Check out this picture. Our heads are flat and broad. Male heads usually get wider and flatter as we grow, and females stay a little pointier. Our ears are tiny, but Joey's ears look ridiculously big. Our eyes are tiny to keep out dust. Our nostrils are huge. Smelling is the way we understand the world. We are outstanding sniffers. It's like we have smell-o-vision. Our backs are super strong muscles. Our bums are flat and bony with an extra thick layer of skin. Our tails are small and stubby, so a predator like a fox or a dingo can't grab on and drag us out of our burrows. Our legs are short and powerful to take off running. We're wild about wombats. We want to ask you a question. Do you have wombatitude? To be a happy wombat in the wild, you've got to remember these four things. With wombatitude, the sky's the limit. One, work with what makes you weird. Some humans think we're shaped funny and we move awkwardly. They laugh about how we eat rocks, how we use our bums, and how our legs look too short for our bodies and they think we're lazy. But hey, we are practically made of muscle. Our bums protect us and we can use our legs to run really fast when we need to. Plus, lazy can also be thought of as saving up energy for when you need it. Two, don't apologize for being yourself. When I bit my keeper Donna, I was just being a normal wombat. She knew that. Three, Keep plowing through. Face what comes your way straight on. Dig in your heels. Be stubborn. You want something? Insist on it. Don't stop until you get it. Stand your ground. But stay alert so you keep safe. See me moving head first through any obstacle in my path. Four, prove them wrong. Sometimes our keeper, Donna, is sure that a certain wombat can't be released and she plans for him or her to stay on as a permanent resident. But later she's surprised and happy to discover she was wrong. If anyone understands how tough we are, it is our keeper Donna. But humans can't know everything, and even Donna can underestimate our push for the bush. So once you fully regain your womb attitude, everything is different. Screeching's also a big part of Wombatitude.